India's vibrant industries like steel, coal, metals, cement and power that expanded phenomenally in the post-independence era bear eloquent testimony of the remarkable contributions of Geological Survey of India in the whole gamut of industrial development and nation building. Geological Survey of India is deeply committed to maximize the benefits of development to the nation. Indeed, nurturing harmony between wealth creation and preservation of ecology. Therefore, for a promising and sustainable development of the country, GSI has been contributing significantly in the domain of geotechnical studies. In fact, Sir Thomas Oldham was the first to render geological advice for the railway alignment between Calcutta and Patna in the year 1859. Ever since engineering geology of GSI has been contributing indispensably in techno-economic evaluation of the mega infrastructure and development projects in India. Indeed, GSI has been providing geoscientific inputs at the planning, design and construction stages to all the major water resources development projects of the country. Furthermore, to facilitate the development and construction of stable and safe infrastructures in the fragile mountainous terrains in the Himalayas, Geological Survey of India conducts varied types of landslide studies. GSI is also the nodal agency for landslides studies of the entire country and responsible for undertaking geological studies for landslide susceptibility zonation. Site-specific study of landslides for stabilization. Preparation of inventory and monitoring of landslides. GSI regularly conducts landslide awareness programs for people living in various parts of the country besieged by recurring landslides as part of its societal commitments of delivering public good. However, in its enduring commitment for predicting, minimizing and mitigating environmental risks, GSI undertakes seismic hazard assessment of the earthquake-prone areas across the country. Geological Survey of India addresses these societal responsibilities by conducting active fault studies, macro and micro seismic surveys, seismic hazard microzonation, ground deformation study by DGPS, permanent GPS stations, extending its forte to post-earthquake surveys. GSI is actively engaged in seismic demographic studies in the tectonically active Andaman and Nicobar Islands of the country. Apparently, GSI has been studying the Barren Island, the only active volcano in India. Undoubtedly, contamination of water due to geogenic and anthropogenic process is a major health hazard. Arsenic and fluoride contamination have been adversely affecting the health of people in many parts of India. Geological Survey of India opened a new vista in the field of medical geology, unraveling many newer facets in the nature of identification and providing remedial measures for mitigation of health hazards due to arsenic and fluoride contamination, catering to the larger public interest. Today, 
climate change is a serious global environmental concern. Hence, GSI is engaged in paleoclimatic studies through its various research programs envisaging of protecting the environment for a sustainable and green future. Glaciology studies provide pertinent inputs on global climate change. So, GSI has been studying Himalayan cryosphere for more than 100 years maintaining records of climate change. India is endowed with about 7,500 kilometers of long coastline which is increasingly becoming susceptible to climate change. Therefore, GSI studies coastal processes, landforms and geotechniques to provide data on shoreline changes, coastal erosion and problems of saline water incursion for future course of action. GSI has been conducting geoscientific investigations to characterize and map different components of the Thar Desert in India. Subsequently, several paleoclimatic indicators have been identified to infer various processes of geological evolution and impact of desertification in the Thar Desert. Nevertheless, Geological Survey of India with its repository of knowledge base of geological processes has been holistically contributing for preparation of environment impact assessment of urban and industrial growth centers. Conducting studies of the mangrove areas in Sundarban, the largest delta in the world. And further, extending its studies domain into industrial waste disposal and element of health hazards in coal-based thermal power plants and the likes. Energy is the most vital and indispensable input for the socio-economic development of any nation. Greater need for mineral and fossil fuel energy leads to greater environmental pressures. Therefore, GSI has been exploring alternative and non-conventional renewable energy resources for future uses. GSI, in its endeavor of exploring green energy resources, evaluated hot springs in different parts of the country and estimated huge geothermal energy potential. In addition, GSI also initiated wave energy analysis for futuristic utilization. However, Geological Survey of India has drawn a comprehensive program for generation of baseline data on coal bed methane to meet the mounting energy needs of the country. Over the years, GSI has evolved into a world-class institution, providing expertise and geoscientific data to policy makers and public to use geoscientific information for sustainable development, thus relentlessly contributing for the betterment of humanity, making meaning of Mother Earth.